Hi, Arrow here from Shadow Bear and Arrow, and uh, we talked earlier back in, I don't know, what was it, March, and there we had six inches of snow, and I was talking about my garden and what I wanted to do. Well, I got my herb garden in, so I wanted to show it to you, and uh, so, I don't know, we're going to just start where we start here. Uh, this is, we'll start with the mullen. This is mullen. I got this from the back, and... Uh, I planted it last fall and it took off right away. It's called, um, I don't know if you ever watch Yarrow, uh, the Herbal Jedi, which I would highly recommend. He's on YouTube. Um, but he, ta he talks about people plants and this is a people plant. So it's really good. Uh, you use the root for, um, for uh, like sore throats. It's good for the skin. Um, it grows a, a cone. This is my first time dealing with it or working with it. It grows a cone that comes out of the center and you use the flowers. You pick not all of them. They say to, to just kind of harvest uh, sparingly. And uh, you can make tea out of it. It's good for sore throats when you have a cold, um, that sort of thing. So we're, you know, as we go, we'll, we'll, uh, we'll work with this and see how it go. you know, how, how we do with it. This here are, is winter onions, and I planted those last fall as well. Well, and you see these little, I talked about these, my brother telling me that you can't, uh, don't eat any of the onions the first time they come up. Because what happens with these, these are their seeds, they fall down and then they replant themselves. So look at this one, I don't know what this one's going to do, but it's doing it. So there's, the, you see all of them have the little, most of them have little um, seed pods on top of them. So I, I, did, I did pick one and I ate it in a salad and it was very good. So, uh, but I left the rest of them alone. So hopefully uh, I'll get more onions. They say though, you have to be careful with them because they can be a little invasive. So there's that. Here's my chives. And I know they're the flowers. I, I love the flowers. Uh, and I will cut them out, the little uh, flowers. But they're really pretty in, uh, in a little vase in the spring they bring up. But the chives are really, as you can see, really going to town. This here is chocolate mint. And I know I talked about uh, my uncle's dog uh, obliterating it. But you see it came right back. And mint is like another one that can be invasive. And uh, so, but uh, you have to be kind of careful with it as well. And it's really hardy, so it will grow. I kind of thought it would probably come back, even though he just wiped it off the face of the earth. Um, it was, the root system was there and it was growing really nice. So it, it's coming in great. This is my catnip. And so far, so good. I don't see a lot of cats around here. In fact, I think my cat, or our cat, is the only cat I... I know in the area, so uh, she's got it made here. She she doesn't really know about this. She won't go on the uh, grass. She'll only go on the cement. I don't know why, but she'll eat the grass. She likes to do that, but she walks over to the grass on the cement and eats it and then walks away, but never on the grass does she go. So, but I'll harvest that for her and she'll be thrilled. Um, this is called Le oh, this is lemon balm right here. And this also, this is the catnip, the lemon balm, and, and this is mojito mint. They're, they're all of mint family, so the chocolate mint as well. So I kind of kept them all together. Um, so this is mojito mint. This is, I guess, something new. I don't know that much about it. I wanted some peppermint, but it smells really good, though. It, it smells like spearmint to me. You want to smell it? Ooh, it smells strong. really good. It it's got good. a nice yeah. scent to it, and the lemon balm too. I wish I could. I wish I could, you could smell it over the. Oh yeah, I need a bigger piece though. Oh yeah, it's lemony and. Wow. It's it nice. Like you just cut into a lemon. It does. Yeah. So I'm excited to. We'll be cooking with that. I oh, can't yeah. wait to to try that. It's going to be fun. Oh, right behind me, these are both two kinds. These are two kinds of lavender. So this is uh, Vince. Vin, uh, what's it called? Vincent. Vincent. Vincenza blue English lavender, and this here is um, just. Just lavender, I guess. It's 
it's not any specific kind, I think. Um, but that's the English. And that one looks, I also have the French lavender up in, uh, in the front of the house. And it uh, looks completely different than this. Uh, maybe we can just uh, at the end walk over and, and show that to you. So anyway, uh, look at their blooming. Oh my, blooming. oh my gosh. So these are, this is verbena here. This is Toronto. I don't know what that means. I, I, I have to, I have to be better about what things mean, but I will, I will, uh, I've heard of verbena and that it's used. And so I saw it there. We got kind of carried away when we got, when we went to the, uh, to the uh, greenhouse. We went to Schwartz's in uh, New Boston on Sibley Road and they just have the best stuff and you know you get kind of care. And also shout out to Kurtzels as well because we uh, they had a really good variety of herbs that we weren't uh, we didn't think we'd find right. anywhere and they they had them so they had what did they have they had well, uh, we've got the sweet grass over there the sweet the, grass yeah, yeah and the lemon grass which yeah. we got to walk over there and see too but let, I'll go through what what is this this is the this is uh, this is the verbena too both of these are so this will bloom like this one here mm -hmm. Th they've got it's got buds on it but this is very cool that it's yeah. already blooming I'm very happy about this yeah and then this here is uh, this is sage, and the sage looks a little sad right now. Maybe we should give it, you're right, maybe give it a little um, TLC. But you see, we had that cold snap that came in. It was growing nicely. It was look real pretty, nice, and then uh, that cold snap came through. It got real cold, and um, uh, it just wilted it down. But this inside is, it's this is all down. new. Yeah, that's all new. So I think it'll be all right, but it wouldn't hurt to maybe give it a little little something to give it a punch yeah. and this is uh, this is yarrow so this is just coming in nicely too this is real pretty and full and lush we should be getting ready to look harvest at that, Henry. look at Henry <laughs> Henry's the garden guy that's where he likes to lay too I don't know that's the same spot he lays in yeah. all the time yeah he's here and then also, this is oregano, and oreg oh. this is like, oregano, and actually sage too, a lot of times, will take over. This is just so full and nice, it really, we need to do some har harvesting of oh, it, because yeah, it's, it's really quite full, yeah. and it will take over, it will, you got to kind of keep an eye, and then see, it's already, it's, it's growing this it's much into yeah the into the time, time. so I think we're going to have to move that too away or maybe chop that maybe well we'll harvest the maybe, yeah maybe we'll uh, harvest the oregano and we could take some of that and actually probably give it to Julia we could we should yeah some. if she wants some we will do that I'll, I'll ask her because it's pretty huge yeah and then this here oh, this is the time this is uh the what, what did they call it the silver silver time and then this is the, the French, the French culinary. culinary time now this one has not done as well I don't know can you see it am I in the light this one has not done as well and um, I just moved it because it was way over here and it was in with the it was getting taken over by weeds and stuff so I'm hoping now and <clears throat> now that I've got it you know away from other weeds and grass and stuff that it, it it's standing by itself and I'm hoping that it will it'll take off and it does seem like it looks a it little does. better it looks a little taller too yeah it does it is yeah I think it, I think you're right it is yeah. and then this is cilantro and the funny thing about this is a plant we bought these two plants right but we all of this is cilantro from last from year last year because we didn't harvest the seeds when you take uh, they have they seed out and they it turns into um, coriander you grind it up for coriander and we didn't do that we just let them, let them go so they they volunteered they transplanted themselves and there they are so we had a ton of it growing in the garden and uh, I gave some I did take a, a shovel and gave some to uh, my neighbor, Julia, who sells beautiful, beautiful eggs. <laughs> They're beautiful, lovely, wonderful eggs. You've seen the video, hopefully. This is basil here. 
It's looking a, I don't know. Not too bad. I it's, mean, some of the leaves are discolored. Yes, it, they. It takes them a minute to recover. This is the purple basil. You know, after you transplant them, it right. takes them a minute. So this is the purple basil. This has got a really good uh, flavor to it. It it smells like um, Italian sausage yes. with the fennel in it. So um, it it just smells wonderful. And this here is. This garlic. is the garlic, and I said, I know I said in my video that it, I was, and this is shallots here, mm -hmm. and that's tarragon there. I don't remember buying <laughs> tarragon, but we, but there it was, uh, so I thought, okay, I'll put it in. And the, 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 the uh, whatchamacallit is just all over the place. Yeah, the, this uh, cilantro, cilantro, and I'm standing on it and stuff. All over yeah, it. I pulled a lot out, but it's still there. Yeah, and then the two and rosemary this is plants. Rosemary. And this is a uh, echinacea. They're both echinaceas. Yeah. So this one's coming along nicely. Oh, there's there's cilantro in here. <laughs> and this is uh, this here is echinacea as well. So also, I wanted to show you the um, the the grasses over here. So let's take a walk over here, just to say. So this is we. This is the shout out to Kurtzels because this is um, who who sells sweet grass. I mean, I've never seen it anywhere. Not in plant form. So this, yeah. So this is all nice sweet grass, and it really smells. This one doesn't seem. Yeah, I guess it's okay. It's doing okay. Yeah. Also so doing good. Yeah. And then this and then here the is the lemongrass. Yeah. Uh, this one looks a little peaked, yeah, but that maybe, one does maybe we'll some, water. some water. On yeah. Today. We'll we'll water it. Yeah. So and then also, if you want to just take a walk out in front, we'll um, take a look at the um, the French lavender, the lavender. This is the French lavender right here. So that's what that looks like. Yeah, totally different from the English lavender. Yeah, it looks nothing like it. The, the English looks like um, rosemary. Yeah. But this one looks like, like its own thing. I mean, <laughs> I've never really seen another plant that looks no. quite like it. It's supposed to be the French lavender. Yes. Well. And um, also, just a little thing, I put, <laughs> I put lettuce. I put lettuce in my front flower garden. Well, that's, there's nothing wrong with that. <laughs> and collards, so yeah. that's going to be my decorations. I put other things in there too, but uh, I thought, why not? So, oh, Henry says hello. So anyway, thank you for watching us. If you enjoyed this or you got anything out of it, like it, please, and subscribe. And uh, we'll see you soon.